Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusa Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for this month's Stamp Around UK video hop. The theme for this month is spring and I have decided to use the stamp set which is on the table here. Where they're playing in the rain stamp set, the playing in the rain dies and pair that with the rain or shine designer series paper. Now I'll go through the paper in a moment because it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll show you those pieces of paper very shortly. But as I mentioned, this is a video hop. So there are links to everyone else's videos with the same theme of spring which can be found down below in the description so after watching this please do make sure you go along and check them out as well for even more inspiration as I said with the theme of a spring so I'm going to be using as I've already mentioned this set right here the playing in the rain I think this is a really really cute little stamp set so I'm going to do a little bit of coloring and I'm going to be using this turtle right here because obviously he's holding a flower um, so very springy um, and it's got some lovely dyes which goes with that so I'll be using those as well but as I mentioned this paper here the rain or shine design series paper is lovely um, I haven't got a full sheet of this one to show you because I've already used lots of it but it's it's kind of the rest of it is sky at the top and it's got this lovely for, um, kind of like embossed on it as well so these really nice lines for the clouds and it's double sided so that's the side on that one but this is the one I'm going to be using the sky and the grass down here for this particular card you've also got this rain one can you see in the it's kind of like this foiled embossed resist kind of technique um, and that's the other side on that one really really pretty you can see that you can see the shine on these ones a bit better on these there you go that's just catching it so really really nice papers bright and cheery just love this one look at it they're just so cute and the back side there and we've got this rainy one here oh, that one's just lovely isn't it just love that side there and it gets, I think sometimes you get a little bit fixated on this side here, which has all got the shiny bits on it. But you just look at the back there, it's just absolutely lovely. So that's that one. And then the final one right here. And the dyes coordinate with the animals on here as well. So if you wanted to cut them out and didn't want to do any colouring, you could quite easily just use these for that. So that one's really, really pretty. All right, so that's the papers which I'm going to be using. But as mentioned, I'm going to be using the one which had the grass down at the bottom down here and the flowers. But I'm going to be using the... Um, Sky I'm going to be using a little bit of the rain here and I'm using a strip so I'll go through some measurements for you very shortly but I'll go through them right now actually so what you're going to need to do let me just pull my measurements up here you are going to need to take some A4 cardstock and you're going to cut this here at 21 centimeters by 14.6 you will need another piece here measuring 21 centimeters by 7.6 centimeters and then you should be left with one which is very similar in size this one here and this is just going to be suitable for your or just some scraps for some stamping and die cutting so that's what you need with your designer series paper you're going to need one which has got the clouds on it or one which is going to be on the back of this and this is going to be 13.9 by 6.7 you would also need a strip here measuring 13.9 by 2.5 centimeters and you have also got another bit here which is seven centimeters by 9.8 centimeters i will pop the inches measurements down below in the description as well so if you want them in inches you can just click down there and they will be there for you all right so i suppose i haven't really told you what card i'm making i'm going to be making an easy um step card so you may have seen on our channel already i have done one which is in the portrait version like this so i'm going to be doing one in the landscape version so this is the measurements i'm going to be showing you so it's a real simple easy step card um which i'm going to be doing if you want to watch this one here do check out our channel as well for um for the measurements on that particular one there i'm saying i'd be making a portrait one for you so hopefully you've got the measurements there so i will pop them down below with the inches as well right so let's crack on with the scoring what you're going to need to do is grab your trimmer and you will need to score this all on the long edge so what i mean by long edge is that you're going to pop the longest edge in along the top of the trimmer or your scoreboard and this particular one we're going to measure um, score this one at 10.5 centimeters and then you're going to take this one here and you're going to do this at the, uh, along the long edge and you're going to measure this one at 3.2 centimeters okay 
Okay, and then you're going to do that as 6.4. And then at 13.6. And that's all you need to do for your scoring, okay? No fancy cutting, it's really, really simple. We will go ahead and we will stick. That piece is gonna go onto that one there. This piece is gonna go onto that one there. Make sure we have our raindrops going the correct way. And then we're gonna have that one going on like that down there. So I'm gonna stick those on now so that they can get nice and, um, nice and set up and then I'm gonna do some stamping and coloring quickly. that's those two pieces ready I will let them just set up and then I'll do the folding and scoring for um, fold and burnishing for you in a second so just pop those to one side grab your scrap piece here which you're going to do some stamping and what we're going to want to do is we are going to stamp the turtle and the sentiment using basic um, sorry using memento the sentiment oh, um, oh happy day so get that one there and then pop that down there we're going to be die cutting this out so make sure you just leave yourself a little bit of room for your die cutting so we can go there and then I'm going to do the clouds using granny I'm um, sorry using gray granite but I will probably do this as a second generation so I'm going to do the first generation just on the back here and then turn it over and then do my second generation down here so they're not as intense you can see that's quite strong on that side there so I've just done it. it's a second generation I've just got a lighter a lighter tone right there so that's all I'm going to do I'm going to do some coloring with the turtle nothing new is needed for this one here so the colors I'm going to use I will be using some mossy meadow light and dark I think here we're going to take some yellow or um, and I've got myself some of the mango melody and that's about it really so let's just leave it like that and then i'll see what other colors i may need to bring in if necessary so i'm just going to color these ones and just watch me color coloring so very very simple coloring I did actually decide to change the color I went for a light old olive for the turtle's body and then I went for the light mossy meadow for the turtle shell and then I've kind of like blended it out a little bit to add a little bit of the shadow in, the, in there so that's um, instead of using the light and the dark mossy meadow I just changed it up to old olive and then the light mossy meadow the mango melody I kept the same um, light and then used a darker one for the shell and then this little bit of shadows so I'm going to go ahead and die cut that one out there using the dies from the coordinating set so the playing in the rain dies we have got that one which is going to go over that and there's some other fun ones on here as well it's not just the animals you've also got the ones I need to clean up you've got some things which you can really build this up as well so you've got some fences you've got some tree trunks you've got the kites you've got some grass see so the umbrellas so there's lots of things on here which you can do so you can really make up a really fun scene as well the bow ties which can be used for um, where's the stamp set bow tie i um, not sure what the bow ties can go on actually, but um, I'm sure they've, um, they can go, well they can go on one of the animals, but yeah, there's 
lovely. So have a play around with those as well. There's, lots, there's lots of possibilities you've got with this particular set. So I've got the two coordinating dies, which is going to do that one and that one. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to grab the stitched rectangle dies. And I'm going to use this one right here and do that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and then die cut these three things out for you right now. And I'm going to be doing that using the lovely mini machine. So let's cut those out right now. So that there is all of my die cutting done, so you can see that it's cut those out perfectly. So you've got some really nice cuts on those. So you've got that one, I've got my sentiment and I've got my free clouds. So pop those to one side, what we're going to do now is the folding and burnishing on this. So this one is quite straightforward, it is just going to be a fold in half. And just once you've got that, give that a nice fold and burnish, just get a nice good edge. Okay, that's that one. And then with this one here, we want to do a mountain fold. So we're going to fold that one back on itself like that. And do that one there, fold and burnish. And then we can then do this one as a valley. And then we then do this one here as a mountain. Okay, so we've got a mountain a valley and then a mountain fold. So that's that. So that there is your stepper card. And then all we want to do is we want to add some glue to the bottom part of this one here at the back. like that and then we then want to stick this one centrally to the front of this card trying to line that up as central as you can so we've got an equal side both sides obviously the glory is if you've got wet glue you can maneuver it around a little bit so if you use anything else then once it's stuck it's normally stuck so which is why i like using wet glue for these and make sure you've got a nice smooth edge at the bottom here once that's done, then what we want to do is we then want to pop some glue on the back part of this here. Like that. Keep it flat and then down we go. So you want to do it whilst it's flat so it will go in an envelope at the end as well. And that there is your easy stepper card. So you can see how straightforward that is. And that one will then stand up like so. So any imperfections, any things which are too small are hidden at the back, so which is not a problem. And then it stands up absolutely fine like that. So all we need to do now is some decoration. I thought this was quite a nice spring card because obviously we've got spring flowers, we've got a nice blue sky. We do have obviously April, so April showers, spring. And I thought it was still a nice fitting for for a spring for a spring theme. Um, but we're just going to pop some clouds in here. So I'm just going to pop these clouds down flat like this so I'm kind of going to go with this one here okay, it's just got a bit clogged up and then we will pop that one about there You will add this one over here, and I'm going to overhang this a little bit, so I'm going to make sure I don't put any glue on that side over here, because I want to overhang it off the edge like that. Just going to have a little look at where I want this one to go. It's going to go there like that, and then this one can go over on this side. Like that there that looks good 
and then we will then pop some dimensionals on the back of these of the turtle like so and the same on the sentiment so whilst I've got that I may as well do that one as well we we'll pop four on there probably even five <laughs> Not going anywhere. There we go. And then we we'll do the sentiment first, and then we can then position the turtle where we want it around that. We can go centrally down like this, and then the turtle at the top. So what do you think? Do you think that um, this hits the spring brief? Do let me know in the comments. And obviously, do make sure you check out everyone else's video as well down below for the new rest of the Stamper End UK video hop. Like I say, links are down in the description. So that one there, that little turtle can go there. Giving you a nice little flower. And there we have it. There is my easy stepper card in the landscape mode in the landscape orientation sits up perfectly and i think that's a nice cheery card for anyone there so what do you think let me know are you going to have a go at this yourself okay uh, remember inches and centimeter measurements will be down below, down below for you as well so there we go um thank you very much for watching so do make sure you hop along with everyone else in the video hop I'm sure they've got some lovely ideas for you to case and have a little go at as well. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next month for another Stamp Around UK video hop. See you soon. Bye bye for now.